welcome again to AA Home Gardening. Guys, I just want to show you my beautiful Cape Gooseberry Blossom. It is so beautiful. I have the nice look at contrast of yellow. So, so nice. I look at hint of like purplish blue. And there's another one around there, guys. Nice, beautiful blossom. So this is like similar to the ground cherry. But this one grows upright, whereas the ground cherry normally just spread on the ground, guys. And we're today is the 14th of November. And guys, there's just blossom everywhere. And there's like a tiny ones coming out. There's like a size, nice size forming. There's like a Chinese lantern. And guys, these are really, really nice. I just transplanted this going a month now and to see it's doing superb it's just really really nice and everywhere you look guys it's nice i don't know how to describe the taste it's a bit hmm oh how would i describe it it's a you have a lot of seeds in there and they have like a tiny sweet taste to it and it's really nice and it produces loads guys and once you have it in a little bit of covering it will continue producing until the temperature drop drastically so at the moment guys if this was probably outside you probably would have stopped fruiting but because it's indoor well not quite indoor but just to make sure if it's open and everything but it's sheltered from most of the elements so because it's sheltered guys my gooseberry this is my cape gooseberry sometime even though this is the upright one people do still call it ground cherry but it is very very nice if you haven't tried it before guys go out and try it sometimes you go to these fancy restaurants and you buy like cheesecakes and things like that they would decorate it with one of these golden so when it's ripe it's golden and sometimes what happens when it drives it just drop to the ground and that's how you know when these things are ready to eat when you come around and look at the plant and you can see few on the ground you know that is ready. I accidentally broke a branch off and I'm here rooting it and it's looking as if it have taken. So I put that in a separate pot in spring. So that's my, I mean, it started changing color and everything because of the, um, the weather change. But in spite of that, guys, it's still producing, producing. You can see new ones coming out of form, guys. The blossoms are so, so, so beautiful. It reminds me of the okra beautiful beautiful blossom so that's it guys let me know if you have tried the cape gooseberry versus the grung cherry let me know which one you prefer they're similar in taste but do let me know which one you prefer guys do you prefer the cape gooseberry or do you prefer the grung cherry do let me know let me know how you how you have them as well at the moment guys i just snack on them i've never prepared them in any way I just snack on them so do let me know how you have yours how do you like it do you process it into a syrup or jam what do you do with yours do let me know so until next time guys keep gardening take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell